Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke Ness Monster. Today, Hasbro did have their May the 4th Be With You livestream. Now, granted, it is May 3rd, not May the 4th, but nonetheless, we did get a ton of Star Wars of Black Series reveals, and I cannot wait to get into it. So, just a heads up, everything revealed in this video will go up for pre-order tomorrow, May 4th, at 1 p.m. Eastern. So let's go ahead and jump right into the reveals. Real quick though, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to go down and hit that like button and subscribe. We're actually doing a giveaway once we hit 10,000 subscribers, which we are less than 200 subscribers away from, which is incredible. So thank you guys so much for all the recent support. I do really appreciate it. But once we do hit 10K, I'll release a giveaway video. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then comment down below on that giveaway video to enter. But you do have to be subbed. So make sure you go down, hit the like button and subscribe. And on to the video. First reveal, we do have the long-awaited, brandly new sculpted Mandalorian Din Djarin figure. Now, this one is actually in the Book of Boba Fett packaging, which is interesting, but it is the Mandalorian nonetheless, and he looks incredible. He's a brand new sculpt, head to toe, and he does have a lot of cool new features. The most important to me being the soft goods cape. I really love that they decided to include that feature. It's a huge improvement to me, and it does allow the jetpack to go on at the same time as the cape, which I absolutely love. He obviously does come with the dark saber, which is a great accessory, and I think this one looks far better than the one that came with Moff Gideon. He also does come with the knife, the vibro knife, that does have storage in the boot as well if you want to keep it on him, which is great. So both great accessories. And then, of course, he also does have a new feature with the shoulder pads, which actually they did mention, where instead of being attached to the shoulder, they're actually on O-rings and are pretty much in the joint. So I'll show you guys a video of what that means here in a second, but they said it's very similar to the Imperial Stormtrooper. And uh, this one is a total W. Uh, great accessories, good soft goods, great mold. Overall, this one is a total W. Really excited for this, and it definitely lived up to the hype because it is incredible. Even the new helmet sculpt looks incredible. Up next, we do have the Clone Wars figures. So we do, of course, starting off with the standard Phase 2 clone, and this one has a ton of improvements. Now, it is in the plastic-free packaging, so this will probably be some of the last figures in the plastic-free, but looking at this figure, he does have a removable helmet, which is awesome. So we do have that amazing Tamora Morrison head sculpt underneath. Really glad we're getting a wide-release version of this head. The only version that we really have of it is, of course, the Echo version, so it's nice to get that, and it'll allow for a lot of customizations with your other clones. Clone Troopers. But he also does have a newly sculpted helmet, which I believe is supposed to be more of a realistic adaptation, which is pretty cool. Now, it does look a little wonky on the more animated body, but I still think it gets the job done, and I'm really happy we're getting a standard Phase 2 clone on this new body. And this new body does not disappoint because it has a ton of upgrades, including the fact that they fixed the knee pads. It is no longer glued to the top of the thigh and now can uh, pretty much float down to the bottom of the, the shin if you would like. And so it's more accurate and the shin is actually on the bottom of the knee now rather than the top or the shin, the, the knee pad. So yeah, really happy about that. They fixed the knee, which is a huge complaint. Really, really, really glad they listened to the fans and fixed the knee. And then there's also another big upgrade on this figure because they actually went ahead and they did the exact same Stormtrooper uh, shoulder pads like they did with Mando on this one as well. And so the uh, shoulder pads are no longer connected to the actual shoulders, but they're connected to inside the socket. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that actually means right now. Alrighty guys, so real quick, I didn't want to show this off. Uh, not even going to turn on my lights for this one because it's real quick, but the Stormtrooper pauldron does connect with like an o-ring underneath here as you can see so it's not actually connected to the arm here but with both the clone trooper and the mandalorian figure it's basically connected to the forearm so these two new clone troopers and new mando figures are going to be on that same kind of style as this stormtrooper which is pretty cool Anyway, the next Clone Wars figure is uh, Season 3 Ahsoka, and this one is incredible. This one actually exceeded my expectations. I was... I wasn't, I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely blew away what I was expecting, and uh, this one looks incredible. It's a brand new sculpt, head to toe, so it means that it does, of course, have the pinless look, as well as a lot of the updated articulation with butterfly joints and just great uh, range of motion, so really happy about that. She looks incredible, and I think one thing that really gets me for this is the likeness. The likeness to Ahsoka in the Clone Wars is really, really good, and yet they still managed to put a, uh, like an animated and a realistic twist on it, and I don't know how they managed to do it, but it looks really, really good. So I cannot praise this figure enough. It looks incredible, and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. 
And next up, we do have the Magna Guard. And this one, I was really, really excited about. We need more Separatist droids in the line. So I'm really happy to see the Magna Guard finally get a figure released. And right off the bat, this guy is very white. I don't remember them him being like this ghostly white in the movies and the TV shows. I remember being like a grayish color. So the white definitely caught me off guard. But I think it looks alright. I, I can't really like say to its accuracy to the the media but i think it looks really really good and uh honestly i'm really happy with how it turned out i think the articulation here looks incredible and so it does have of course the soft goods uh kind of like side cloak as well as the uh it's actually a hard plastic uh kind of like head wrap that goes around it it looks like both are removable so if you do want the uh i guess non-cloaked version of the magna guard you can have that so this one is an army builder because you can buy several and take off the cloaks and stuff if you would like so really happy about that it looks incredible and definitely one of the highlights of this stream Next up, we do have a uh, kind of re-release box thing, so we're going to go through this pretty quickly, but we do have two 40th anniversary Returns of Jedi figures, including uh, Chewie with, like, the collar from Jabba's Palace, as well as Wicket, that are both getting re-releases in the Galaxy-style packaging, uh, so I'm assuming that all of the other like new 40th ones will as well in future lines but for this one we do have these two and they look pretty good but like i said these are nothing new so the figures are exactly the same next up we do have two gaming greats figures first up we do have darth malgus this one was pipelined a little while ago and we finally have images and he looks absolutely incredible now i'm not too much of a uh, old republic fan but this guy looks really, really cool. He's a big, beefy guy, and he's one that I would definitely consider a deluxe figure, so I'm not too upset about the deluxe title on this one because he's a big, beefy guy, and he looks incredible too, so I might have to go back and play some of those games. I tried to play through KOTOR, and I couldn't really get through it, but I might have to go back and take it a second chance because uh, this guy looks incredible, and I know this one is actually, I guess the old republic not knights of the old republic but either way i think i gotta go back and play these games because this figure looks incredible up after that we actually do have another gaming greats and it is the battle damaged grievous which was just pipelined a few weeks ago to so to actually see this one in hand already is incredible now obviously this one is just a repaint of the standard grievous so there's nothing new so it makes sense that it was pushed out pretty quickly but um you know it's one of those where it's another grievous re-release of the underscaled I don't want to say poorly sculpted, but it's definitely not the best figure in the line. And so I think I would have almost rather had a brand new normal Grievous that is the correct scale and a good sculpt rather than a battle damaged older version. So I'll have to wait and see. If it looks really good in store, I might pick it up. But it's just one of those where it's so underscaled, I don't know if it's worth the battle damaged variant. Next up, we're going to go through this pretty quickly, but it is the Roleplay Helmet, which is the Axe Wolves Helmet. And overall, this one looks really cool, gotta say. Um, not a whole lot to talk about it. I mean, it's Axe Wolf's helmet, and it looks awesome. So there you go. You can trust Black Series quality. I have a few of them. So if you do want an Axe Wolf's helmet, this is the way to go. Next up, they actually did go ahead and pipeline a brand new Archive Wave for 2024. And I gotta say, I'm not too happy with this pi Archive Pipeline. bo is interesting. She just came out two years ago, so I don't think she justifies an Archive release. I think I'd much rather have a Season 3 version with the updated Pauldron in a new Mando Season 3 box rather than the old one in the Archive line. But, I mean, it is getting a little pricey, so I understand the urgency to get a re-release. After that is actually the X-Wing Luke, and this one is, the, is one that's already been in the Archive line before, so it is returning to the Archive line, so it's interesting to see that they're doing, like, an Archive re-release, so hopefully, fingers crossed for Anakin in the future, but this one is one that just desperately needs a new mold altogether. I understand, the like, again, the urgency to get a new version out, just because it's been a while since he's been on store shelves, but this one just, quite frankly, sucks. It's not a good mold. It's one of the first ever Black Series figures made, so if you're going to do a new X-Wing pilot Luke, please make a brand new mold rather than just an archive re-release. Up after that is actually a New Hope Vader, and this one I don't understand at all. They actually used the photo of Kenobi Vader saying that it is the New Hope version, that they're trying to work on getting the, the whatever cloth over the pauldron or whatever, but aside from the point... If you're going to archive any version of Vader, do the Empire Strikes Back version, because that is the version that is better. It has the butterfly joints. I don't care about the New Hope version. It sucks compared to the Empire Strikes Back version. So if you're going to pipeline any of them, do the 
do the the new hope version or if you want another new hope vader on the shelves do a brand new new hope vader on that empire body it's i don't really think it's that difficult but i don't know i just think the new hope vader is the worst version of vader we have in the line and it does not need a re-release after that is actually the Stormtrooper 2. This one is the 2020 Mandalorian version. And this one I'm really happy about getting an archive release. I, I think it's about time. And I think we need as many different versions of the Stormtrooper on shelf as possible. So this archive one is a pretty good choice. It is also an army builder too, which is nice. Up next, we do have a whole nother thing of pipeline reveals for Black Series. First up is Paz Vizsla. This one is, they, they pipelined a re-release of this figure. And I don't understand a re-release of this figure. I, I think the... It's a cool figure, don't get me wrong. I like Paz Vizsla, but we have like four different versions of this guy in the line and all of them found a way to peg warm. And I think again, I think he's cool and he's a lot more relevant now with season three of The Mandalorian coming out. But I really don't think we need another version of this guy. I mean, he's decently cheap on the aftermarket. I don't know, just my opinion. Next up is actually the droid that Grieve Karga has in like one scene in The Mandalorian cool I guess. I really like that we're getting more astromechs on the new body but this is just a droid that I could care less about. Uh, there's I could name a few other astromechs I'd want before him <coughs> or five. Um, anyway but yeah I don't know it's, it's just a weird choice. But the next two I am really really excited about we got two more Phantom Menace characters that have been desperately missing. We do have a child Anakin as well as a new Padme. Now weird choice for Padme I think I would have liked the Queen Amidala version rather than this version but either way I'm really happy we're just getting a Padme. Uh, we only have the episode 2 version so to get as many as possible is great and yeah I'm really happy with these reveals. Last up we do have the premium roleplay helmet for Carson Teva and I'm really excited about this one because he is one of my favorite X-Wing pilot helmet designs ever so I don't have an X-Wing pilot helmet yet from Black Series but this one I'm definitely picking up because it's one of my favorite designs. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy the like button, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys think of this stream. I thought it was pretty good overall, and overall, I'm really happy with the reveal. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.